Welcome to Rothstein Laboratories. I am Dr. Rothstein. This is my colleague, Dr. Einstein. We are going to be doing a, you know, we're going to mix some different liquids here today and uh, we will see what happens in our graduated cylinder. Uh, Dr. Einstein, what do we have here? We have here vegetable oil, ketchup, water with blue food coloring, maple syrup, delicious, and of course, dish soap, not so delicious. So, what do we want to, what do we think is going to happen when we mix all these liquids together? Right now I want you to make a prediction of what you think is going to happen. So, first we are going to have, let's go with the ketchup. Ketchup's delicious with fries, burgers, but what's going to happen when we put it in our graduated cylinder here? So some ketchup, some lingering on the top, that'll be okay. Maple syrup next, Dr. Einstein? Okay. Let's go, let's see if I can open it. Here we go. Hmm. Those are pretty similar in color, but as I, if you can look and see right now, we've got the ketchup still on the bottom, and it looks like We've got maple syrup sitting right on top of it. It's very interesting. What do we think is going to happen next when we put in our dish soap? Let's see. Oh, look at this. Look at our dish soap. This is our orange. And it's sitting it's sitting pretty high on top of that maple syrup. It's formed a nice little layer. Next we've got our water. It's a nice blue, blue-green. We still have our layer of dish soap. Ah, Mr. Vegetable Oil. If you looked at that, when I poured in the vegetable oil, it was below the water, but as soon as it started to settle, we can see this is all the vegetable oil sitting on top of that water. And there we have our layers of liquids. So as we can see, here is our layers of liquids, and we have our ketchup at the bottom, our maple syrup, kind of tough to see, it's that darker one right here. We have our dish detergent, our orange layer right here our blue food coloring water which has mixed a little with the dish detergent to form that green that you're seeing and above the water we have our vegetable oil sitting in a nice stack right here and there is our stack or our layers of liquids so make some conclusions on what you think happened here today but Dr. Rothstein, what if we decided to put the liquids in a different order? We didn't put them all the way from ketchup onto the uh, vegetable oil. Huh, that's a good question. I hadn't thought of that. What do you guys think is going to happen if we do it in a different order than the one we just did, that they're all sitting on top of each other in that perfect order that we already have done? What do you think is going to happen? So, we want to determine what would happen if we went in a different order. So this time we'll just go in a completely random order. This is the order we went in last time, from left to right, from ketchup on down to our vegetable oil. So what we'll do is, we'll just mix it up. Dr. Einstein, let me... Perhaps the soap. Well, we'll go with the dish detergent first. We'll put a nice layer in. So we have our layer of dish detergent. Go with our water. Maple syrup. Syrup. Tough to open. Look at that. It goes right through and down to the bottom, which we expected because it was one of our more it was one of the ones that were out of the on bottom. We have our vegetable oil, which was on the very top last time. 
And as you saw, just like last time, it sunk under the water, then shot right back up. And lastly, we have our ketchup, which was on the very bottom last time. And look at it just sink all the way. You can see the ketchup fighting its way down there.